Are you struggling to market your new business or product? In the vast ocean of entrepreneurship, this is a common challenge that many face. However, fear not. Today we're diving into the world of marketing, exploring its importance for new businesses and products and how it can be the difference between sinking and swimming. Marketing is not just about selling a product or service, it's about telling a story, creating a connection, and building trust with your audience. It's about making your brand stand out in a sea of competitors. It's the lifeblood of your business, the engine that drives your venture forward. In this video, we'll guide you step-by-step -step through the best marketing strategies. We'll help you navigate the waters of the business world, charting a course towards success. Whether you're launching a new product or starting a new business, we've got you covered. Stay tuned to uncover the secrets to successful marketing. The first step to any successful marketing strategy is understanding your target audience. Why is this so crucial, you might ask? Well, imagine you're a chef preparing a meal. You know you're an expert at your craft, you have the best ingredients, and you've honed your skills to perfection. But if you don't know who you're cooking for, how can you be sure they'll appreciate your culinary masterpiece? The same principle applies to marketing. Your business or product may be the best thing since sliced bread, but if you're pitching it to the wrong crowd, your efforts will be wasted. So, how do you get to know your target audience? It starts with research. Understand their needs, their wants, their pain points. What keeps them up at night? What solutions are they seeking? More importantly, how can your business or product solve their problem? This research isn't just about demographics like age, gender, or location, though that's part of it. It's about psychographics, their attitudes, interests, lifestyles. It's about understanding the human behind the consumer. Armed with this knowledge, you can tailor your marketing strategy to address your audience's unique needs and desires. You can craft messages that resonate with them, that speak their language. You can position your product or business as the answer to their questions, the solution to their problems. But remember, understanding your target audience isn't a one-time task. It's an ongoing process. As your business grows, so too will your audience. Their needs may change, new problems may arise, and you'll need to adapt your strategy accordingly. This might sound like a lot of work, and it is, but it's work that pays off. Because when you truly understand your target audience, you can create marketing strategies that hit the mark every single time. So, remember knowing your audience is the foundation of a potent marketing strategy. In the following scenes, we'll explore how to develop your unique selling proposition, choose your marketing channels, and create compelling content based on this understanding. Stay tuned. With a clear picture of your target audience, we move on to developing your unique selling proposition. A unique selling proposition, or USP, is your golden ticket in the marketplace. It's that one-of-a-kind factor that distinguishes your product or service from the rest. Think of it as your business's fingerprint. It's what sets you apart. It's what makes you, well, unique. Why is it crucial, you ask? Well, in a world flooded with similar products and services, having a well-defined USP gives customers a reason to choose you over the competition. It's about answering the customer's question, why should I choose you? So, how do you identify and develop a USP? It's a process that requires introspection, research, and a little creativity. First, take a deep dive into your product or service. What makes it special? Is it faster, stronger, more efficient? Does it fulfill a need that no other product does? These are the kind of questions you need to answer. Next, look at your competition. How are they positioning themselves? What are they offering that you're not? Use this information to find an angle that they haven't exploited. This could be a feature, a benefit, or even the way you deliver your product or service. Once you've identified your unique factor, it's time to craft your USP. This is where the magic happens. Your USP should be a clear, concise statement that encapsulates what makes you unique and why customers should choose you. It should speak directly to your target audience and resonate with their needs and desires. Remember, your USP is not just a marketing slogan, it's a promise, a commitment to your customers. It's about delivering on that promise every single time. And there you have it. Developing a USP involves understanding your product, analyzing your competition, and crafting a compelling statement that resonates with your target audience. A compelling USP can set your product apart from the competition. So take the time to craft one that truly reflects what you and your business are all about. Now that you have a unique selling proposition, it's time to choose the right marketing channels. 
In the digital age, there are more marketing channels than ever before. From social media and email to content marketing and search engine optimization, the options can be overwhelming. But don't fret. The key is to choose the channels that align with your target audience and product. Let's start with social media. It's a powerful tool that has the potential to reach billions of people across the globe. However, not all social media platforms are created equal. Each one caters to a different demographic and serves a different purpose. For instance, if your target audience is young adults, you might focus on Instagram and Snapchat. If you're targeting professionals, LinkedIn would be a better fit. Next, we have email marketing. Despite the rise of social media, email remains an incredibly effective marketing channel. It allows for direct, personalized communication with your audience. It's particularly effective for B2B marketing or products that require a more detailed explanation. Content marketing is another valuable channel. This involves creating and sharing valuable free content to attract and convert prospects into customers, and customers into repeat buyers. The type of content you share is closely related to what you sell. In other words, you're educating people so that they know, like, and trust you enough to do business with you. Lastly, search engine optimization or SEO is a must for any online business. It involves optimizing your website to rank higher on search engine results pages, thereby increasing the visibility of your product or service. So, how do you choose the right marketing channels? It all boils down to understanding your target audience. Where do they spend their time online? What type of content do they consume? What are their online behaviors? Once you've answered these questions, you can select the channels that will be most effective for reaching your audience. Choosing the right marketing channels can significantly amplify your marketing efforts. Remember, the goal isn't to be everywhere but rather to be where your audience is. After selecting the marketing channels, the next step is to create compelling content. This is no trivial matter, for the substance of your marketing strategy lies in the content you put out there. It's the bridge between your product and the audience the vehicle that carries your unique selling proposition to your potential customers. Quality content is paramount in marketing. It's not just about filling up space or meeting a word count, it's about providing value to your audience, about speaking to their needs, their concerns, their aspirations. It's about showing them that your product isn't just another item on the shelf, but a solution, a means to an end, a tool for a better life. But how do you create such content? First, know your audience. Understand what makes them tick, what keeps them up at night, what they dream about. Then, speak to these things. Use language they understand, topics they care about, and a tone that resonates with them. Secondly, make it engaging. Capture their attention from the get-go and hold it to the end. Use compelling headlines, interesting facts, and a narrative that draws them in. Make them curious, make them think, make them feel, and always, always leave them wanting more. Thirdly, make it persuasive. Remember, you're not just sharing information, you're selling a product. Use persuasive techniques such as storytelling, social proof, scarcity, and reciprocity to convince your audience about the value of your product. Show them the benefits, not just the features. Show them the why, not just the what. Lastly, make it consistent. Consistency breeds familiarity and familiarity breeds trust. Keep your voice, your style, your message consistent across all your content. Let your audience know what to expect and then deliver on those expectations, time and time again. Compelling content is not an option, it's a necessity. It's the heart of your marketing strategy, the soul of your brand. And when done right, compelling content can turn prospects into customers. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. We began by exploring the importance of understanding your target audience. Remember, Knowing who you're selling to is the foundation of any successful marketing strategy. After that, we dove into developing your unique selling proposition or USP, which is all about identifying what sets you apart from the competition. Next, we discussed choosing the right marketing channels. Whether it's social media, email, SEO, or even traditional methods, the key is to find where your audience lives and engage them there. Lastly, we talked about the importance of creating compelling content. Your content should not only be informative but also engaging and shareable to maximize reach and impact. With these strategies, you're well on your way to successfully marketing your new business or product. Thanks for watching, and remember, the key to successful marketing is consistency and understanding your audience.